Good morning, Baraka Church of the Nazarene. Just before the message, I'd like you to join me in this song as we sing together. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings and eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. That wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings and eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. And I know Badika Church of the Nazarene, you are no stranger to waiting. Because you've been waiting for so long, so many years, to have a pastor that you can call your own. And God has answered your prayer because you waited on him. And he has a way of rewarding those of us who wait. I'm happy to say that I have accepted um, the invitation to be your pastor, and it would be my joy, it is my joy and pleasure to be able uh, to again partnership with you in the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have done some wonderful ministries in the past, uh, crusades and revivals and outreach all across Batica and Atkinson and Gullet River. And uh, God uh, just uh, have the windows of heaven open to pour us out a blessing to reach so many people that can change their hearts and change their lives. And uh, I am trusting today that if we really wait on God, God will do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. And I have uh, this very special scripture that I want to share with you today. And the scripture is taken from uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 40. By the way, this is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. For he giveth power to the faint, and to them that hide no might, he increaseth strength. Even the young shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Today, we want to thank God for rewarding his people that wait on him. Let me say this again. Today, we want to thank God for rewarding his people who wait on him. We live in a society today where everything that we do, we have no patience about waiting. I can remember when I go down to Roseau and catch a bus uh, to come back to uh, um, uh, to to come back to Batica, that I have to wait until uh, the bus is filled to capacity. 
In fact, I said uh, to one of the members of Vatican Church uh, that when I come back, I want to have my own car because uh, I don't want to wait until the bus is filled and then all the different stops that they have to make. Uh, it's really an inconvenience for me uh, to be able to go down there to catch a bus to come back up and wait. Uh, so I also have my limits where waiting is concerned, and I know you do too. Some of you have been waiting for help from the government. In fact, when I was there last year, I saw many of the homes being built, and thank God that the government is helping building some of your homes. But it's been a whole year now since they dug the foundation and, and since they put up the walls uh, and, uh, and they painted the inside. But some of you are still waiting uh, for the keys uh, to get into that home uh, that was promised. Well, the topic of my sermon is uh, wait it out. Although waiting is hard and waiting is difficult. I'm going to tell you why you should wait it out. You should wait it out in every aspect of your life, no matter how impatient that you might be. You should wait it out in every aspect of your life, no matter how difficult waiting might be. You, may, you, you should wait it out in every aspect of your life, regardless of who is rushing you and pushing you. You've got to wait because there is wisdom in waiting. You know, I have a, a saying that goes like this. Uh, the longer you wait is the longer you live. Uh, so many people rush, 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 rush through in life uh, and uh, they really accomplish nothing. Some people are so busy that uh, they're busy doing nothing uh, and they can't accomplish much. But the Bible has given us reasons why we should wait. Uh, number one, we should wait because uh, of who we are waiting on. Hear what the word of God says. Uh, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his uh, understanding. The reason why we can wait uh, is because of who we're waiting on. We're waiting on uh, the everlasting God. We're waiting on uh, a God, the creator of all the ends of the earth. We're waiting on a God that fainted not. And, and because we're waiting on a God that fainted not, uh, the almighty God, the great creator, the great counselor, uh, it's important for us to be able to see what he has in store for us. Us. You see, God is working on your behalf even before you even utter your request to him. He knows and understands our needs. He hears our cry. And you may think, well, but, but, but brother, brother McBurth, we've been waiting for so long. Well, what is long for you is really not long for God. Have you heard the scripture that says uh, a thousand years is like one day in the sight of God and one day is like a thousand years? You see, God has his own mind frame uh, whereby he worked things uh, for his honor and for his glory. We can afford to work, uh, to wait, uh, not only because of the Almighty God, uh, not only because it's a God who is the creator of the ends of the earth, uh, but a God who fainted not and never gets weary. You cannot wear God out no matter how much you try. Yes, uh, you can wear me out. Uh, Yes, you can wear your family out. Uh, yes, you can wear one another out. But when it comes to God, you can't wear God out no matter how much uh, you try. God does not get weary. And uh, he knows uh, what uh, patience is all about. And that's one of the things he wants to teach us. Uh, 
You see, sometimes when we get things in a hurry, we, we have this prayer request uh, where it's request on demand. Where, you know, unless it's a demand from us, uh, you know, uh, we really don't pray it. But when we really pray it, it's a demand that we're making on God and we're saying to God, God, you need to respond now, right now, Lord. Don't you understand my circumstance and my situation? Yes, Lord, I need your help right now. And we pressure God to do what he knows is not good for us. And if we wait on him, it will make our lives even better. Verse 29 says, he give it power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increased strength. We stand as weaklings before God. I mean, uh, I know as uh, you, you there as a nation uh, in Dominica, you, you don't get much attention. You, you don't get much support. Uh, yes, you do get some, uh, but you don't get the attention like Rozo get. Uh, you don't get the attention like some of the other um, villages get there in Dominica. But because... Your government may not give you the attention that you need. God does. And when God gives you the attention that you need, he can even command your government to meet your needs. Do you hear me? He can use foreign governments. He can use your present government. He can use your, 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 your chief, your chief in your, in, in the nation to do what your, what God wants him or her to do because he is the almighty God. He gave it power to the faint. That's right. God has a way of lifting up the weak limbs of our world and our society and of our villages. Yes, you may think that because you don't have a good job, you don't, you don't, um, you don't have good academics, you don't have this and you don't have that, that, you know, your life is useless and God doesn't understand. He only reaches out to those, you know, that are, uh, what we call upward mobility in our society. But I'm saying no. Uh, because he reached me when uh, no one even heard about me uh, back there in that island uh, of Antigua, in that little area called Grace Farm. He reached out to me. Uh, he reached out to me uh, and sent me to you uh, how many years ago uh, when uh, I've never even heard uh, of uh, Batica Church of the Nazarene, because that's where we got our start. He gives power. He opened doors. That's right. In fact, not only doors he opened up, but he has a way of opening up highways for us to, to meet the needs of our hearts and of our lives. So I'm saying you today, this is reason why we should wait. Because God gives power to those who faint. Yes, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Yes, in our weakness, God finds a way of having strength. In our limited resources, he has a way of supplying all of our needs. I tell you, God has a way uh, and make a way. Even in this pandemic, uh, God has given some of you some creative uh, and innovative ways uh, of making money, of, of sustaining your family. Uh, when, when you felt like, uh, you know, uh, this pandemic is so destructive, but yet even in the worst of conditions, God can come through for you. And I'm saying today, it's important to wait because who you're waiting on. It's important to wait because uh, of uh, what he is offering. He said he gave us power to the faint. Uh, and uh, those that are weak, he increased your strength. And then I love this. He says, even the young shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall Yes, he said, even the young, you know, I tell you, when I 
when I was young, uh, 17 years old, uh, and run through Batica, I, 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 I usually run uh, from Batica all the way down, down uh, to, um, to Marigot and back uh, without even, you know, um, uh, I would say breaking a sweat. You think I want to do that now? <laughs> Not really. I probably would walk uh, from Batica to Marigot. But one of the things I remember doing uh, when I was there so many years ago was to walk from Batica all the way to Portsmouth and back. And that was one of my greatest achievements. Uh, and yes, I was young then. Uh, and did I get weary? Yes, I did. Uh, I, I sat under a coconut tree uh, and, and, and absorbed the shade. Uh, and there are times I would stop and I, and I would pick uh, a fruit from the side of the road. Uh, I would take a stone and stone mangoes uh, and, and eat. Uh, I would find berries to refresh me. Uh, I would go by the river and take a drink uh, all the way down to Portsmouth and back. Uh, and believe you me, uh, that was one of the greatest victory, the greatest triumph. Uh, and even as a young man, uh, I grew weary and I grew tired. Some of our young people in uh, our church today, sometimes it seems like uh, they get uh, much more tired than we do, all the folks. Uh. In fact, when I come back, I want to challenge uh, some of you young folks uh, to, to go on a six-mile run with me or on a 10-mile run, uh, and uh, we will see uh, who can last the longest. Uh. I have that challenge out for you uh, because uh, I know that you will get weary. I know some of you will fall out or faint. Uh. But he says, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall what? He shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. One of the things that God wants to do is to renew us. If we wait it out uh, through our trials, uh, if we wait it out through uh, our problems, uh, God wants to renew us. Uh, if we can wait it out through the difficult times and through the hard times, uh, God can renew us and it can bring break forth a blessing within our hearts uh, and within our lives where there won't be room enough to receive. Uh, and I want to challenge you today uh, to wait it out. Uh, wait it out uh, because you know who you're waiting on. Uh, wait it out because you know what uh, God is going to do for you. Uh, he will grant you power. He uh, will renew uh, your strength. Uh, yes, right. Uh, he, he will renew you. Uh, in fact, he, he will bring you back into the fold. Uh, and so many of us need uh, renewal uh, where God is concerned day after day after day. He wants to renew our faith. Because some of us, has, we have lost hope in God. We've lost our faith in Him. He wants to renew our strength. Because we, we're we not as, as strong Christians as we used to be when we first knew Him as our personal Savior. We've given in to temptation. We've given in to falsehood. We've given in to bad habits. We've given in to laziness. We've given in to so many things in our lives that cause our, our faith to fall falter and God want to renew. Uh, he wants to renew our relationships uh, because things happen between us and we break our relationship with one another. He wants to renew the relationship between the parents and the child. Uh, yes, uh, your relationship with your parents need to be renewed, but also your relationship with your brother and your sister also need to be renewed. Uh, one of the things that's important uh, is for us to be able uh, to live at peace with each other. And it's important for you to renew your relationship with your neighbor. Because there are times when you may think uh, that nobody cares about you. Why is she doing it? Why is she saying to that? Why is she saying that? And you may heard a rumor, well, so-and-so said this and so-and-so said that. And you take it to heart and you believe it. Uh, and that person may not even have said anything. But uh, because you believe it, it has a way of affecting your relationship with that person. And uh, it's time for renewal. You know, I'm hearing a lot 
in the United States about healing. And everybody talk about we need healing, we need healing. I agree, we need healing. But who's going to first, who's going to take the first step to, to renew, to, to renew those relationships, uh, to, to heal those, uh, those broken relationships uh, that seems uh, to be going astray uh, more and more. It just seems like uh, there is a, there's a, a chasm between uh, you and an individual that you want to renew that relationship with uh, because uh, you are not taking the first step. And the Bible says, uh, if you know that there is someone who at ought against you, uh, and you go to the altar to pray, he says, first, uh, leave, uh, get up from the altar, and go to that person and try to make things right, uh, try to renew that relationship. You see, the most important thing that we have in life is the relationship we have with each other. Because sometimes we don't know how much people means to us unless they're taken away from us. And then it's too late for us to tell them how much they mean to us and what they have done in our hearts and in our lives. And it's important for us to be able to do that. I'm glad that I can come and renew my relationship with you, uh, even though it's been a year since I've not been uh, in Dominica because of this pandemic. Uh, and I've come year after year after year. Why? Because I want to renew. Uh, I want to keep things uh, going between. I want to keep that love flowing between the both of us. Uh, yes, uh, I want to keep that joy, that understanding. Uh, you make me happy knowing uh, that you're there to welcome me every time that I I come to Dominica and I want to thank you for renewing that friendship and renewing that relationship he said that he shall renew their strength they shall mount up with weight oh my goodness which means uh, that you can take off uh, you know uh, just like an eagle uh, you know, the other day I, I was walking and I saw some eagles uh, as they spread their wings uh, and uh, with grace, uh, how they hover in the sky uh, and how they, uh, I mean, uh, just a gentle bird, how they move forward. And then there are times when they're in a hurry, they just take off uh, with speed uh, that I could not even imagine. And that's what God is saying. He said he wants to lift you up. He wants to take you out of a, a bad situation that you're in and put joy in your heart and put a smile on your face and allow him to bless you in ways and means you've never been blessed before. He wants to renew your relationship in your marriage. He wants to renew your relationship in everything else. And I want to say congratulations. Congratulations to uh, the Fatima who who um, uh, who's getting married or just plan a wedding, uh, and I know that there are, there are others who have uh, um, uh, recently gotten married. Uh, Shanna uh, who had recently gotten married, uh, and you know it is so nice uh, to know how God has renewed those relationship uh, and and bring you into. Uh, a place of righteousness and a place of service uh, where you can lift your head up high knowing uh, that God uh, has blessed you and blessed you richly. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall uh, renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk uh, and not faint. Uh, and we say, teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, uh, to wait. Uh, Wait it out. Amen. It's important for us to be able to what? Wait it out. Because when we wait it out, we wait on uh, Almighty God. When we wait it out, uh, we, know, we know what God has in store for us. And I want to encourage you today to wait it out on Almighty God. Allow Him to make a difference in your heart and in your life as you trust him today sing with me this song the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings and eagle they shall run and not be weary 
They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. Father, those of us that are waiting on you today, I pray that the, your power and your might, dear Lord, would just bring us, dear Lord, to that place of renewal, right at your altar of grace. That we can find strength and power, O oh Lord, in you. That we can experience you in ways and means we have never experienced you before. Bless us, dear Lord. As we wait it out. We wait on your mighty hand. We wait on your power and your grace. Yes, Lord. As we wait on you. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm looking forward to the day when I can get on that airplane and be with you and trust God to do great and mighty things because we waited on him. May God bless you today.